Hmm. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Brother Luke, uh, Sin City Preacher. I, I think the title of this video will be, uh, Please Don't Be Ignorant. I plan on making this the uh, number one video on my playlist, uh, Science, God, and the Bible. Um, I have well over a hundred videos on that playlist, and there is only one of the videos I think that I've actually um, produced the video. It's a collection of many videos that uh, um, are apologetics to, to prove that uh, God exists, that the Bible is true, and uh, science um, uh, supports God and the Bible. And Christianity. Uh, so uh, I recommend that playlist to everybody, but this this is a very important introductory introductory video for that playlist because I'm finding that a lot of people are really very ignorant. Now, before I call you ignorant, I want to make sure you understand what I mean by that. And I've I went right to the dictionary, and I want to make sure that you do not get the wrong impression. I'm, I'm not trying to insult you or offend you or demean you in any way. I'm not calling you stupid. Uh, so to prove that point, I want to uh, define, or go to the dec dictionary definition of these words, stupid and ignorant. So the dictionary says that stupid is not intelligence, having or showing a lack of ability to learn. And understand things. Uh, synonym, synonyms for stupid are airheaded, bird brained, empty headed. Uh, antonyms for stupid are uh, brainy and bright and brilliant, clever, smart. So, but basically, if someone is stupid, it means that they, they're not intelligent, they do not have or show the ability to learn or understand things. So I am, I'm not calling you or these people I'm referring to in this video stupid by any means. I know that there are many people who are the opposite. They're antonyms of stupid. They are brainy, bright, brilliant, clever, smart. So don't misunderstand and think that I'm calling you or implying that you're stupid in any way. No, quite the contrary. You really may very well be very smart, very intelligent people. But what I am accusing you of and asking you to uh, cure is, is this problem of ignorance. So what does the dictionary say ignorant is? Ignorant means lacking knowledge or comprehension of the thing specified, unaware, uninformed. And synonyms for ignorant are um, uneducated, uninstructed, unlearned, unread, unschooled, untaught. Now, I want to apply these synonyms to the original definition. It says, uh, lacking knowledge of the thing specified. Now, what I'm referring to specifically in this message here to be used on my Science God in the Bible playlist is the subject of uh, does science prove biblical Christianity and support it, or does science contradict it and disprove it? And that is the, the, the thing specified, the subject. And so, uh, this is saying that uh, uh, if someone is ignorant of the thing specified, uh, but uh, on the other hand, uh, it's they're uneducated. They have not learned yet. They're unlearned, unread, unschooled. So these people who are ignorant of this, uh, they may be really quite intelligent. Uh, the antonyms for ignorant are educated, 
They may be really quite educated in other subjects. They may have a really broad and a really great formal education. They may be uh, well-informed, well-read on a broad variety of things. But when it comes to the specific subject of science, God, and the Bible, they are actually really quite ignorant. And uh, I personally am very qualified to speak on this because uh, I was one of these people many years ago. I'm 64 years old now. Uh, I am a pretty educated person. Uh, I, I, I do have a formal education. You know, I did graduate from high school. I did graduate from college. I did pursue various careers that required certification and licensing and, and uh, extended study, uh, postgraduate study. I, uh, I have done a, a lot of independent study myself on, you know, theology and, and uh, a variety of other subjects that interest me. So uh, I, I do have a good education, but uh, years ago I was ignorant. I was ignorant uh, of the other side of the arguments when it comes to creationism, Darwinism, uh, and, you know, atheism, theism, uh, all these things. I really was had not studied the other side. I had basically been brainwashed. I have this T-shirt that actually says "brainwashed" on it. See, let me try to get it straight. Oh, I can't. There you go. Brainwashed. Now I'm now I'm brainwashed by the Holy Spirit of God that lives inside me because of my faith in Jesus. But before that, uh, most of my life, or a good portion of my life, I was brainwashed by the school system, uh, by the media. I. I remember the first time I saw a science book uh, that mentioned the word, the term, theory of evolution. It was probably around the seventh grade. Uh, I, I, that was pretty around 1963. And uh, I was first introduced to this quote, theory of evolution. And so I was taught about what they were saying happened, that uh, this Darwinism was uh, uh, a theory. Uh, and then every year in the science classes, because I was required to take science classes every year, every year in science class, uh, there'd be another book on science that talked about the theory of evolution. Uh, so I, you know, I studied and I learned about it as well as everybody else. Uh, and uh, year after year, I was taught it again and again. Uh, I noticed that it didn't take long, though, that they just started calling it, uh, referring it to as evolution rather than the theory of evolution, Darwinism. And, and they dropped the whole premise of it being a theory. And uh, it was basically presented as, well, that's the way it was, that we know it. I mean, and, and then it reached a point where Everybody knows that. I mean, you, you don't know about Darwinism and evolution. You don't, you don't think that's fact? Well, everybody knows that. That's the way it is today. Like, uh, even politicians who uh, they, they, they are afraid to say publicly that they do not believe in Darwinism because they'll be mocked. They say, well, he's a flat earther. He's, what is he, an educator or something? Everybody knows Darwinism is true. So that's the, the, the through from 1963 until uh, 1986, when I became a Christian, I was completely brainwashed with one side of this question. And, and I accepted it. I believed it. I, I was successfully brainwashed. And I thought Darwinism was the, uh, you know, the way that the world and life uh, came into existence. Uh, and then after I became a Christian, uh, I actually started learning about the other side of the argument. 
in, uh, about creation science and the arguments against Darwinism. And for many, many years, I've studied the other side. So, you see, I was brainwashed with Darwinism, as you probably have been, as most of Americans have been. Uh, many people around the world have been brainwashed to accept it. Uh, and I was ignorant of the arguments against it. But now I'm no longer ignorant. I, I've, I've over many years, I've studied and learned uh, about all of the problems with the theory of evolution, of Darwinism. And now it's, it's uh, been proven to me, and I'm convinced, that Darwinism is just simply a, a fairy tale for adults. It's so absurd and ridiculous that uh, I, I can see that now. But I never questioned it before. And therefore, uh, I had only received one side of the argument, and I was ignorant on the, uh, about the other side. And I'm assuming that you watching this now, that you have had the same kind of experience, and you have not been exposed to, you have not learned, you have not been educated about the arguments against Darwinism. So, um, I'm going to ask you to please don't be ignorant. I mean, you may be well educated and learned in a variety of subjects, and, and you may have a, even a greater education than I do. But I suspect that you may be ignorant, unlearned, uneducated on the arguments against Darwinism. And that's why I have this playlist, Science, God, and the Bible. Because you'll see that Darwinism, Darwinian evolution, is so easily refuted, so easily disproven. I've got, I don't know, well over 100 videos, uh, mostly from scientists. And many of these people, they have, they have you know, doctorate degrees, one after another, and they're, they're just as educated and respected in the scientific community as anybody else, and they're, they just laugh about Darwinism and the absurdity of it, because it's, it's so easily disproven. So I'm going to ask you to don't remain ignorant. Watch the videos on my playlist, Science, God, and the Bible, and then at least you will not be ignorant. And then, if you have intelligence, if you have the ability to reason and think intelligently, I'm assuming you're not stupid, you do have intelligence, you just are ignorant about this particular thing. And once you get educated, and you, you look at both sides of this question, then you'll be able to hopefully make an intelligent decision and see which side is correct, Darwinism or creationism. It's clear to me, uh, and I think it will be clear to you if you will educate yourself. So please, don't be ignorant. Thank you for watching.